Hi, I'm in Medina right now and I'm walking in history where I go. Uh, this is a site where lots of early Islamic history took place. My plan for today is to visit Mount Uhud. That's the site where the Battle of Uhud took place uh, between the forces of Mecca and Medina. Let's check it out. Okay, I just arrived here at the battle site of the Uhud battle. It's actually a really short taxi ride, uh, literally only five minutes. It's also showing how close the battle actually was to Medina. So the Meccan forces really came uh, for the Muslim community here in Medina. So I'm going to make my way up the hill here. This is a small hill. It's not very big. So when we talk about Mount Uhud, uh, we're actually talking about the mountain that is behind me, behind that mosque. But the battle actually took place in front of that mountain. So there's this hill here that I'm now climbing and that's where the final battle was fought and the Muslim community was badly defeated in that blood battle. So I'm making my way up this small hill. I'm not alone here, there's already quite a crowd. I can imagine that during the day this place is going to be packed. Because it's a must-see for every Muslim visiting Medina. It's one of those historic sites that you don't want to miss. Here in the back you see the minarets of the Masjid Anababi. So it shows you we're not very far from town. It's just outside of the outskirts of Medina. And I can only imagine how packed this place is during times of Ramadan or Hajj. Because there's lots of space, as you can see behind me. I assume these are bus parkings. Right now it's empty. I can only imagine how busy this place is during the times of the main religious tourism months here in Saudi Arabia. So this battle was fought uh, on March 19th in 1625. And that's the third year according to the Islamic calendar. And it was a revenge battle. Just a year before, the Medinan forces, which are led by Prophet Muhammad Wasallam had won the Battle of Badr um, and at the time they were vastly outnumbered by the Meccan forces but they defeated the Meccan forces in 624. As a revenge the Meccan forces marched towards Medina on March 11th 625 and again they vastly outnumbered the Medinan forces. The final battle took place here at this site and despite the fact that the Medinan forces were much less equipped and much fewer it looked like they're gonna win this battle but due to a military mistake of some archers that didn't follow the orders of Prophet Muhammad the battle was finally lost and the Muslim forces had to retreat back into those mountains. Now the Meccan forces didn't follow them back into the mountains. They just declared victory and went back uh, to Mecca. During that battle, Prophet Muhammad was badly injured and a number of his fellow warriors were killed. 
including his uncle and foster brother Hamza ibn Ab al Muttalib. So pretty much it was bad. The two armed forces would meet again uh, two years later in 627 at the Battle of the Trench. And uh, again, the Medinan forces at that time were vastly outnumbered by a coalition of forces of the Quraysh and the Meccan forces. But through diplomacy, they prevailed and caused an image loss for the Meccan forces and increased the reputation of the early Islamic community, which ultimately led to their leadership role here in the region. If you come to visit here, I recommend coming in the morning. It's now nine o'clock in the morning and I can already feel the sun coming out and hitting quite badly. Uh, but there's still a little bit of a fresh breeze going on, so it's still fine. But uh, I would recommend coming here at noon uh, or in the early afternoon because I think the sun is just going to be really brutal. It's a little bit unfortunate that in so many places in Saudi Arabia, including this one, people tend to throw away plastic bottles or put graffiti on historic sites. This side looks a little bit more maintained, but nevertheless, you can see the trash all over. And it's just not a pretty sight. So this fenced area is marking the gravesite of the warriors that were killed during the battle, including Hamza. You can't enter it. It's nice that they put out this sign that forbids coming here for the purpose of visiting or worshipping the dead. It's clearly something that is not in accordance to Islam. It's a very quiet atmosphere here. As you can see, there's not many people in here. It's actually also quite refreshing. It's getting a little bit hot outside, so this place provides the serenity and the fresh air that is nice to have. So this was definitely a great site worth visiting, a must-see when you come here to Medina. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. What are your recommendations to do when you come here to Medina? And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. This was my first visit for today and we're now heading to the Masjid al Qiblatayn. This was the mosque where the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, changed the Qibla from Jerusalem to Mecca. the mosque uh, at Kiblatayn. It's a rather small mosque, but it's definitely well known. And it's uh, one of the mosques where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu led the prayers. It's a Friday today, so the city is quite empty, but it's a perfect time to visit mosques. So I'm looking forward to this one. Kibla was pointing towards the Aqsa in Jerusalem and 
that got changed to the new Qibla, which is now Mecca. So this is a beautiful small mosque. And uh, while the second Qibla is not that visible anymore, it's definitely there. One of the brothers explained to me, it's basically the opposite side of the current Qibla to Mecca. And it just got switched around. And this is the place where it happened. And it's pretty cool. My next and final stop uh, will be the Masjid Kuba. And I heard that if you play two rakats there, it's an equivalent of doing Umrah. So a pretty good deal. Let's check it out. This is a beautiful open earth mosque here. It's a very open architecture. And you can see the place is already filling up for the Jamaat prayer. It's Friday today, so people come early. So while this uh, mosque has been recently updated and upgraded, um, it's still the site of the first mosque here in Medina, uh, where Prophet Muhammad uh, built the very first mosque upon his arrival here in Medina. So it's a very historic site. The mosque is beautiful, it's quite large. I understand there was a much smaller mosque here a few years ago and that has been upgraded now. So I definitely recommend you coming here when you come to Medina. It's definitely worth a visit. And I'm going to head now to the Jamaat prayer at the large mosque in Abawi in Medina. But that will be for another video and I hope you join me for that one too. So this concludes my little tour of mosques here in Medina and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below what mosques do you like here in Medina when you come. Uh, any tips for my next visit to Medina will be highly appreciated and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, also below, and I'll see you in the next video. Salam and cheers.